and welcome back. Today I thought I would take just a couple of minutes to do a real casual like chit chat Dollar Tree haul with you guys. It's been a while since I've been able to catch up with you. I haven't been able to do cocoa and cookies. Maybe it was just this one week. Not even sure. It feels like forever though, however long it's been. So I thought I would take just a couple of minutes today to kind of chat with you a bit and to show you a few things I picked up at Dollar Tree. Not a real large haul this week, just a few things, but a couple of things that I've never seen at my store before. So I don't know, maybe you guys have seen them. My store seems to be slow on getting everything. Unless I go to the big Dollar Tree that's about 30 miles from here, then I don't find a lot at my store most of the time. But I did find just a couple of things this time. It's Saturday afternoon, I don't even know. I guess it's probably about one o'clock. And we've had a little bit of an emotional morning around here. Most of you that have been following the channel for a while are familiar with the fact that um, I lost my grandma last year. April the 1st will be a year, so we're coming up on that anniversary. And it's been quite a difficult year. And uh, I'll just go ahead and warn you, you're probably gonna hear the little neighborhood kids are out back playing and kind of screaming. And I've got clothes going, so you're gonna hear the washer and the dryer. Hubby is out cleaning the car. We're getting ready to go on a trip next week. And so we're making all the preparations around here to be gone, so I told you, this one is gonna be super, super casual, nothing formal about this particular haul and chit chat. But at any rate, uh, getting back to our morning, it's been quite an emotional year. You have your good days and your hard days and all of that kind of stuff, dealing with grief and working through a very difficult thing. But anyway, we had a table and chairs that was hers, her dining room set, that, uh, the family had given to us after she passed to sell to try to make just a little bit of money to help us here with the situation in our home. You're all familiar with that. I'm not gonna go over that again, but at any rate, we've had that now almost a year and I've just had a real hard time selling it, trying to get someone interested in it. But finally, yesterday, I had somebody contact me about the table and chairs and they came to pick it up this morning that was definitely a little hard to see that go because, you know, I don't know, it's, you know that they're gone and nothing's going to bring them back, but sometimes having those items that were theirs, you know, it's kind of like a little connection to them still. So at any rate, it's been definitely an emotional kind of morning today trying to work through that. Those of you that have been through grief can probably certainly relate and certainly understand. But at any rate, that's kind of where we are around here, trying to muddle through and push through all of that, making our preparations to get out of town. And uh, we're probably gonna vlog the trip next week. Let me know if you guys wanna see it. You guys seem to really enjoy Vlogtober, and most of you seem to really enjoy Vlogmas. And as a matter of fact, a lot of you were new to the channel because of the vlogs. So I thought it might be fun while we're out of town to uh, vlog for you guys and show you around Tallahassee. For those of you that have never been to Florida or visited our capital, thought we would show you that. So let me know for sure if that's something that you guys want to see, then we will definitely oblige while we're there. So let's just go ahead and get right on in with this little haul. As I said, not really a whole lot to show you. The One of the things that I picked up there were some of these beautiful spring flowers, some Easter lilies too, and then some of these really pretty, I don't even know if the lighting is gonna be able to show you guys. These are dusted with glitter on the top of these really light green ones I picked up three sets of those. I really thought that was just really, really pretty. And as a matter of fact, now that I'm looking even closer, ah, huh, that's a butterfly. Can you guys see the little body of the butterfly there and his little wings? Ah, I did not even notice that. I just thought it was a pretty 
pretty flower. So, okay, these are butterflies and they've got that light dusting of glitter on there. And then these three, I've got an exciting DIY coming up for you guys. It'll be scheduled to go up on Tuesday. I was invited by another channel to participate with several different ladies doing some Easter home decor for you guys. So I'm excited about that. Gonna work on that this afternoon before we leave. And you guys should be seeing that on Tuesday. So those will be part of it. Also, while we were there, picked up a few of these straws. Some of you are familiar with the fact that I had a root canal a couple of weeks ago now, and then I had some trouble with another two. Thank goodness that one did not need root canal, but it did have to have a little bit of a filling on the outside near my cheek. So while we were out and in Dollar Tree, my mouth was swollen. I couldn't drink my drink, needed some straws. So we found these and check these out. This was, look how long <laughs> that is. Can you guys see that? And it does say on here, let's see, longer flex is what it's called. And it certainly is. I mean, that goes out forever, but you can twist these all kinds of fun ways. I thought that was pretty cool. My kids actually found these and uh, we're having fun with those in the car. So we picked up some of those. Never seen them with a the long old neck like that. While I was there, I also picked up some of these floral ties. Had to have this wire to go along with that DIY. And this was a really good deal, I thought. It's 75 feet total. So I'm gonna assume that each one of those must have about 37 and a half feet. It doesn't say that, but that's what I'm gonna guess since there's two of those on there. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for just a dollar. And then some of the new things that I have not seen there at my Dollar Tree anyway, you guys may have. First of all, there are these fashion stick pins is what it's called. And it does not say that these are gel, but it does say that the color of the pin is the color of the ink that is actually in the pen. So I thought I'd give these a try because those of you that do your planners, you know you've been seeing me do them with the little skinny Sharpies and those Sharpies are so strong that they go right through the paper. Then you can see on the next week's schedule the writing through the page. So I thought I'd give these a try. And then I also found these pens. These also do not say that they are gel, but they are a neon ink. And the color of the rubber here is supposed to be the color of the ink that is in there. So I thought I would try those as well. I've not seen those before at my Dollar Tree, so check yours and see if you like using the colored pens for different things. The next thing that I found there that I thought was really cool and new was this little pad. It's got 30 sheets in there. You can see that it's pretty small. It looks like it's about a five by seven. And yep, as a matter of fact, it says five by seven right there. And these are supposed to be neon sheets of paper. So let's just open that right on up and see what that looks like. Oh yeah, look how cool these are. Those are very cool. And it looks like that there's multiple pages of each of the designs in there. And the camera is not showing you guys exactly how neon these are, but these truly are a bright, bright neon. <laughs> I love those. Very reminiscent of the 80s, everybody. But anyway, I thought these were really, really cool to cut up for either pocket letters that you need the little pocket shapes for, or to cut different designs to put in your calendars and your planners, or just whatever you want them for. These would even be cool with uh, as a backdrop to some stationery as well. So very cool. 30 sheets for just a dollar. And trust me, it's pretty, I didn't open these in the store, obviously, but as pretty as these are, I really love this one. And I really just wish that you guys could see how fluorescent that is and neon, but camera is not doing it justice. Anyway, I definitely will be looking for some more of those. Those are really pretty. And then I also found this pack of stickers. There are 300 stickers in here and it's kind of a fashionista kind of thing. You see the little lipsticks and nail polishes and shoes and purses and little teeny teeny ones in here, which is actually why I picked this up because when I first grabbed it, it kind of looked a little young and juvenile, really, the way it was kind of cartoony and 
not really into that too much, but these itty bitty ones right up in here, I thought would be really, really great in the planner for like bullet notes and uh, different things that you need to section off. So that's why I picked this one up. And now that I've got it home, the more that I've seen it around here, the more that I like all the other ones as well. So 300 pieces for just a dollar. So take a look at that. If you like the shoes and lipsticks and all that girly stuff as much as as I do. Then, of course, had to pick up some dish detergent. Usually we try to get all of our dish detergent with couponing, but when you're out, you're out, right? I haven't been couponing in a while, as you guys know, so I picked, this is actually a 12.6 ounce size, which is not bad for a buck, because the ones we usually get with our couponing are only 10 ounces, so not bad on that. And then I did pick up a loaf of bread. I don't typically buy bread at the Dollar Tree, but they had this in there this time and it felt pretty fresh. So we thought, well, hey, let's give it a try. I've got a, got kind of a, a special little treat I wanna make my husband. And who knows, maybe that will find its way to YouTube as well sometime soon, giving you a new little recipe to nibble on. But that's really it, a super, super small haul this time. Just kinda wanted to jump on here and chat with you guys a while, catch you up with with what's going on around here because I miss the uh, cocoa and cookies and getting to chat with you guys a while and kind of share my heart with you. So hopefully while we're gone next week, while my husband is in training, I'll have a little bit of time during the day and can uh, catch up with you guys on some things and just sit and chat for a while. So that's what's happening around here. We're gonna get back to this crazy busy day and uh, get that DIY filmed for you guys. Be sure to be looking out for that on Tuesday and then be sure to look for those vlogs. Well, first of all, you guys need to let me know if you're even interested in seeing the vlogs because if not, they're a lot of hard work. I probably won't do them, but if you guys are interested in sharing our week with us next week, then we will definitely do that. So be sure to let me know. Okay, I hope that all of you guys have a super great weekend and uh, that God's favor and his blessings just shine down upon you wherever you are. Love all of you guys and we will see you soon in the next video.